Hello everybody, it's me. Not as cold as it was a couple days ago when I filmed my last vlog outside. I'm nearby uh, one of the bars here. It's a bar and grill and they played some loud music right now. It's from the jukebox. Unfortunately, it's not from a uh, live band, which this place needs on the weekends. It's been a long time since I saw any uh, cover bands or tribute bands. We need to uh, start having that in this area here a lot more often there. I remember Chaps in uh, Richmond, Michigan used to have cover bands every fucking weekend. And that's what this joint, this barn grill needs, that's for sure there. Okay, let me start off with this little note to the executives at Facebook. Stop with the friends' suggestions that you've been giving me as of late. This morning, I had about three of them, one right after another. One was from a female from some uh, Asian country, and it had this uh, phone number listed next to one of her profile pics. Her doing those sexy selfies, you know. We get the idea what that um, page is about, and we all know what she's trying to do. I dismiss that. Another one shows up. New friends suggested list. This lady, uh, this individual. Mutual friends with this individual here. This, she's friends with one of your friends. So how about adding her? How about adding this person? I dismiss them all. They don't know me. I don't know them. Let it go. If they're interested in me, they'll add me. I just hope they don't turn out to be uh, whacked out stalkers like the one so-called friend of another friend of mine that I had to deal with back in 2014. And you can look at the first episode of Dirty Brown Eye Drama for that scenario there. Now, on to the main subject. For the past couple of days or weeks, Seaman, Nikki Nines, and a couple of others have been coming down hard on us for coming down on Bullfrog. Now we all know Bullfrog has autism. It's a lot more severe than what me and Tommy and C2010 have. I mean, we function normally, but however, we still have those little moments where um, our thinking patterns are not exactly like normal people. Like, I often get distracted while I'm at work so much that I forgot to take care of this little thing here, that little thing here, until I realized at the last damn minute. That's one of them. Bullfrog's autism causes him to be like a five-year-old child. Now, the issue with Bullfrog is I, Y, R, Joe Cronin, Flamov Ken, Gatekeeper Drew, everybody else, Minnesota Vikings fan, his cousin, Super Roll Hunter, and especially D.B. Dave Rose, who tried multiple times to get through Bullfrog's head on this and that. But the problem is, Bullfrog won't listen. He either blocks what we're trying to say, derails what we're trying to tell him, denies it, comes up with excuses. Let me give you an example. On one uh, Thursday night simulcast with Real Fuck TV last year, let me adjust myself here. <clears throat> there we go. I had to move my legs because uh, my foot was starting to fall asleep. On one th simulcast with Real Fuck TV, Bullfrog called in. We were telling him about the stuff that he was saying on Joe Cronin's throwdown at that time, where he was saying the N-word towards somebody who was trolling him on his Skype. Now, I was trying to tell him to ignore it, turn down the volume, block that person. Bullfrog's like, 
I don't have time for that. I'm like, yes, you do have time. Make time, damn it. It's like, well, you want us to do the work for you? Most likely he wants us to. I mean, we have tried every way we could to get through his, to his thick skull. But the problem is, A, he demands respect without giving none in return. Respect is earned, not given. Two, he dislodges everything that we tell him. He just doesn't want to do what we uh, suggest, whether it's eating healthy or working OBS. And three, he acts like, he basically, he says he doesn't support Democrats, but he acts like one, especially one of the many Democrats of today. Triggered, sensitive, refusal to listen, and acting entitled. Now, all of us here have tried so much with our damnest of mites to get to his, to his damn head that that's not the way to do things. Work hard and you will succeed in the long run. Show respect first and you will get respect in return. And be respectful to others around you. Don't talk over other people. Does it work? No. And unfortunately, when that happens, we cannot help but to get angry, frustrated, and, in the words of Pantera, fucking hostile. And that's going to cause us to yell our heads off at him. Call him names like stupid, jackass, dipshit. That's going to cause us to uh, go at him verbally. If he was grow in the growing up in the area that I was growing up in, he wouldn't even last two minutes. Everybody would be pounding the shit out of him. And my dad was very harsh on me because of my autism. Back in his day, you were locked up and never seen and heard from again. So be glad uh, that the uh, people around your so-called accepting of you around your neighborhood. But all in all, we don't mean to yell at him. We don't mean to scream at him. But the thing is, you know, we tried to help him so many fucking times, but... No, but it seems to work. Now me, I'm not going to cut the guy down no more. I'm not going to mention, you know, various vulgar jokes about him and his niece. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say, you know what? We told you what was right and what was wrong. You, the choice is up to you. Whatever path you go, that's up to you, dude. You hit a few bumps, brush it off, and realize, hey, that's part of life. So to everybody out there who uh, comes down hard on us for coming that bullfrog, you know, understand the situations on why. We don't mean to, but what the fuck, you know? You can only take so much so that's all I want to say for the time being there I'm going to be heading back soon oh and by the way I got a notice from Arknoia Strokeby the reason that a whole thing why we wasn't able to get a hold of him on this past Monday afternoon or early evening I should say was apparently his internet went down that whole day. So hopefully things will be back to normal later on today. When me, him, YR go live. And we're still, we're still going to do our rebooting of the Big British Four series. 
And uh, I figure we start off with Judas Priest this time. Then go into Maiden, Motorhead, and then Black Sabbath. The ones who helped start it all. Alright. In the meantime, leave your thoughts and comments below. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. You have yourselves a cool-ass Thursday. Bye-bye.